An open pneumothorax, also known as a sucking chest wound, is a hole in the chest from a gunshot wound, stabbing, or other puncture wound that makes a new pathway for air to travel into the chest cavity. When the chest cavity is expanded in order to inhale, air not only goes into the mouth and nose like normal, it also goes into this new hole in the chest or back or both. And that's bad. Air entering the chest cavity through a hole in the chest or back reduces the amount of air being delivered into the lungs and reduces the oxygen that can be delivered and distributed into a patient's system. Sucking chest wounds are dangerous because they can lead to collapsed lungs. Treating an open pneumothorax requires two things, keeping air from going into the chest through this new hole while still letting air out that is leaking through a hole in the punctured lung. It can be difficult to identify when a penetrating wound to the chest is sucking air or not because they don't always make a noise. So let's talk about how to identify and treat open pneumothorax. So look for penetrating wounds, stab wounds or gunshot wounds to the chest and to the back. Look for an entry wound and always look for a possible exit wound. And look for bleeding. If you see bleeding, then go to the bleeding control algorithms and let's stop this bleeding. You may also see the signs of an open pneumothorax, which includes a sucking sound when the patient takes a breath. And you may also see red tinted bubbles coming from the wound in the patient's chest or back. You may even see that the patient is having difficulty breathing. So let's get out my trauma trainer and let's take a look at how an open pneumothorax may present. You may see bleeding and you also may see air bubbles escaping from the wound site. And when you see a penetrating wound to the chest or the back, always suspect open pneumothorax. If you're with someone who may have a sucking chest wound, swift action is critical. We need to apply a chest seal to the wound and hopefully you have a commercial chest seal in your first aid kit. And if not, I'll demonstrate how you can improvise a chest seal later on in this presentation. Most commercial chest seals are venting. That is, as pressure builds up inside the chest cavity after the seal has been applied, the seal will allow the air to escape through the four passages built into the chest seal. And when the patient inhales, the chest seal will automatically seal shut and prevent air from entering the hole in the chest or back. So let's look at a demonstration of a commercial chest seal being applied. Now always follow the directions on the chest seal and most commercial chest seals have a YouTube video demonstrating how to deploy the seal. Familiarize yourself with this demo for the seal you carry in your first aid kit. Dry the skin around the injury site as much as possible to provide the adhesive on the seal a dry area to stick to, stick to and apply the chest seal pushing down firmly on all sides of the seal and if you find an exit wound you'll need to apply a second seal to the exit wound once you have applied the commercial chest seal monitor the patient while waiting on EMS to arrive and also communicate with EMS that the patient has a potential open pneumothorax and you have applied a chest seal so what if you don't have a commercial chest seal? Well, you can make one up by cutting up a uh, clean Ziploc bag or a clean plastic trash bag and some tape. Now you'll want to find tape that has a very sticky adhesive such as athletic tape, duct tape, or shipping tape. Cut the plastic bag to the size you need to cover the wound. Tape down the plastic sheet on all four sides and then look for an exit wound. And if you find an exit wound, seal it up also. Once you apply the chest seal, be alert for signs of a collapsed lung, also called a tension pneumothorax. In a tension pneumothorax, the collapsed lung, the lung with the hole in it, leaks air between the chest wall and the lung, building up air pressure. If the pressure builds too much, the patient will develop a dangerously low blood pressure and could die. So look for these signs of a tension pneumothorax. Severe shortness of breath. Unequal chest. That is one side of the chest looks bigger than the other. 
veins on the neck bulging. Blue lips, blue neck, or blue fingers. If you suspect a tension pneumothorax is building, lift one corner of the improvised chest seal and allow the air to escape. This is also known as burping the chest seal. Once you allow the trapped air to escape, press down on the corner of the chest seal and continue to monitor the patient. Now, this patient requires immediate, fast evacuation to the hospital. Keep EMS informed of your interventions so they may place a priority on this patient.